bright stripes and bright stars through the pair or the spies or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And now let's meet the starting lineups for this 2A championship game. And a forward for Bloomington Central Catholic, a 6'4 senior, 12, Elliot Herdeman. And a forward for Nashville, a 6'6 junior, 32, Dylan Mueller. At center for the Saints, a 6'5 junior, 42, Braxton Kaufman. And a forward for the Hornets, a 6'7 sophomore, 44, Rice Newman. One of three guards for Central Catholic, a 6'2 senior, 3, Austin Holman. At center for Nashville, a 6'7 senior, 45, Clint Johannes. Another guard for the Saints, a 6'2 junior, four, Jake Reinhardt. And a guard for the Hornets, a 6'1 junior, 22, Daniel Thorson. And the third guard for Bloomington Central Catholic, a 5'11 senior, 22, Nick Norton. Guard for Nashville, a six foot senior, 24, Keegan Anderson. A large crowd has settled in here at Carver Arena. They are ready to crown a Class 2A champion, and we'll have that ball game for you coming up next on the IHSA Television Network. Back at Carver Arena, the site of the boys. One, two, three, and four A state championships. This is 2A, and presenting the ball here prior to our 2A game, the general manager of the Peoria Civic Center, Jim Weatherington. And we are underway. Nashville in the white. They come into this ball game with a 27 and seven record. Bloomington Central Catholic, 26 and six. Both of these teams have a nine game winning streak on the line. Number 10 would net them a state title. Sophomore, Royce Newman on the pull-up. Newman gets a good look, just couldn't get a good down. Pretty good offense. They're set, getting the ball in the middle on the first touch to the big guy inside. Here is Nick Norton. To Austin Holman. Holman with a solid game last night. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. There's a 3-2 zone, long and athletic. Norton the miss and Daniel Thorson the rebound. Injury update on Daniel Thorson. He was injured last night. And in the blowout win, sat out quite a bit, but you have a more late news on Daniel Thorson. 10-30 shoot around at Manuel. He went through the walkthrough, not 100%, but he given it a go. State championship, none to hold back for. Dylan Mueller knocks down that three, and that exceeds his two-point scoring output from last night. Nashville jumps on top, three-zip. Clean look, had a lot of time to buy the time, and 
Good footwork, buried it with confidence. Here is the zone that folks saw in the win over Porta last night, 62-43. Saints looking to shoot over it, and now inside, and a putback for Reinhardt. Reinhardt needed that one we talked about him. Jake must be great. First two shots, really not what I think that they want, because from outside, you got to get into the zone. Larson the move on the baseline. Second rebound of the game for Braxton Kaufman. A long bounce never gets there. Two minutes in. We go inside to Newman. Here comes Holman the other way. Good high-low pass, but even better defense right there. Saints to inbound underneath their own basket. Jason Welch, the head coach in his seventh season, the first time, of course, that he has taken a team here to the state finals. He is having a blast. You've heard his interviews with Matt Rodewald these last two days. He is enjoying the heck out of this experience. See, everything right now is on the perimeter. They have not at all attacked via the dribble. There they do. Defense snatched away. Dylan Mueller the steal, and here comes Thorson again. Mueller 6'6, six, six, Newman 6'7, six, Johanna 6'7. Six, Post presence personified. They are pounding it inside with a 6'7, 230 pound sophomore, Royce Newman. Talk about soft touches. That's who they want to go to. If they get Newman involved, that opens things up for the rest of the big hogs underneath to clean up, especially on rebounds. Brad Weathers in his fifth season in Nashville, but 25 years ago this weekend. He coached the state championship team. Carlisle winning the state title. They are celebrating that 25th anniversary this season. Took a coaching sabbatical for a while. He's been back five more years now in a title game. Elliot Horniman short on his three-point attempt. Three threes, none of them to go. Really, none of them have been in rhythm for the Saints thus far. Have to get some inside-out shots. Again inside the game plan plan very clear here early. It's about every time down Royce Newman has gotten a touch. Braxton Kaufman the physical 6'5 220. He's really their only presence along with they'll bring Hester off the bench have the ability to guard Newman on the inside. That's their job tonight. Everybody a little bit tight here in the early going one point game at our break. Congratulations to our officials. Working this game, Ben Buehm from Rockport, from Rockford, Kevin White, Chicago, and Leonard Sanford from Matson. Two skilled, two athletic teams. Both teams starting one for four offensively. A little bit of tightness, as you mentioned. And the shot selection, there's been no rhythm or no tempo established by either team thus far. That will come as the game is played on and teams loosen up and get a feel for each other defensively. Larson will launch it. Horniman will grab the rebound. Elliot Horniman, 11 rebounds in the semis last night for Central Catholic. Great transition defense by Nashville because once again, it's Kaufman looking down the court, or, or excuse me, Norton looking down the court but reading his eyes. Nashville gets the interception. Another touch for Newman. I'm down. Thorson again. Here comes Reinhardt. Stops and pops. Both teams very tight. Wellington Central Catholic one of five, Nashville one of six. Yeah, shooting percentages are pretty ugly right now. Again, there's been set shots, and what I mean by that is their jump shots are when you want to step in, a one-two step, to get momentum to the basket. Everything has been stagnant shots from the outside by both teams. One for six combined, the two teams are from outside the arc. Inside out, Johannes. Everything but in. They'll get Kaufman with the foul on top of Newman. Nashville's missing. Missed their last five shots after the 
opening three from Dylan Mueller. Yeah, but that was their best set. Yes, it was another three, but Johannes had a step in three there, a really good look in rhythm, and then Newman very active around the inside. Not just a big frame, but pretty good feet for a big man. Football prospect, basketball prospect. You're going to hear his name, and so will next level coaches know his name in a hurry. First two years of high school, he has been an honorable mention all state selection. Flare screen and a step out. Flare screen and step out. Always good to look for the screener after the screen. Each coach has brought in their top six man, two good ones here. For Central Catholic, John Hester, and on the other side for Nashville, Hunter Beatley. Yeah, both the coaches think that those guys are basically starter number six. That's how much of a, the, the threat they both are for their team. Ball goes off of Thorson's leg, and we will go the other way. So Thorson, watch number 22 for Nashville. His, his ankle does not seem to be bothering him very much. He's moving very well. See the top of your screen there. Horniman can't get that shot off cleanly. Newman the rebound. Ran into a tree, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, that's 6'6", six, 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, 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 the front line is a big one. It's long, lengthy, and athletic. Keegan Anderson didn't like the three. Thorson inside Newman. Coach Weathers yelling dive, Daniel, which means he wanted him to slow to get down into the post. Got the ball high, made a nice hook pass to the baseline side to the big fella inside with a finish, Newman. Early 7-2 lead, belong to the Hornets. Norton with it. Transferred from Missouri back to Bloomington for his senior season. He'll hit the first shot of the game for himself. Norton last night with 16 points. Seven assists last night, does not have one tonight. Big bucket there, right, right, left. Crossover dribble, elevated, scored. First field goal for Central Catholic in a span of four minutes and 47 seconds. Norton wants another, long range. Finds Reinhardt for three. Holman inside. Three chances for the Saints. Unfortunate for the Saints, they didn't finish that one. They are not going to get very many multi-shot opportunities. They got three that time, still come up empty. Under a minute to play in the first. Norton the pick. And the feed. And the block inside. Reinhardt follows, count it. Persistent passion by Reinhardt right now. Bloomington Central Catholic being very active on the glass. Yes, they're smaller. The big trees from Nashville. But Reinhardt especially, I believe that's his third offensive rebound. Knows for the ball. Know where the ball's going. We said that that man, number four, had to be great tonight. And he is off to a very, very solid start for his team. Will not put this game into a tie. 2-2-1 pressure on a miss. Free throws were a problem last night for Central Catholic, only making 9 of 21. That will be a traveling call against Kyle Jasper just into the game. Jasper last night for Nashville in just 12 minutes, 4 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. Very solid game off the bench. Nick Norton will make this last play. They expect a ball screen even against the zone. Look for them to set Reinhardt on the weak side. Hardeman in the corner. And plenty of time here for Nashville. Anderson covering a lot of ground. Reinhardt with three. Beatley at the buzzer. There may not be many points on the board, but they're going after it here tonight in Carver Arena for the 2A championship. Nashville, the one-point lead. Nick Norton, going to get his team on the roll. 
and Jake Reinhardt to clean it up. One point difference after one. It is a 7-6 deficit for Bloomington Central Catholic as we get set to start our second quarter of our Class 2A state championship game. Matt Rodewald with you here at Carver Arena. Look who I found. This is Allie Norton. You may remember her from her 27.5 three-pointer outing in the 2010 state championship game. It has to bring up memories of seeing your brother playing in a state title game. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, it's a great experience, and I'm just happy Nick's able to experience it as well. What were some of the emotions you had going into a title game, both in 2010 and 2011, that he may have felt today? Uh, there's a lot of nerves emotion so it's it's really hard to just keep them under control and remember to have fun seems like a guy is to himself and prepares his own way did you were you able to offer him any advice yeah I did a little bit and I think just watching us go through it helped him a lot as well well you how much fun is this for you you got to be nervous too I'm, I think I'm more nervous watching than I am playing so all right we'll let you enjoy the rest of this Allie Norton and also Jess Reinert, that's the older sister of Jake Reinert. She's watching on IHSA.tv in Springfield, Missouri, as her team is preparing to play in the Division III NCAA tournament. So, Dave, everyone's watching everywhere, brothers and sisters alike. We like that, and I'll tell you what I liked. I watched, like watching the Norton sisters, Allie along with sister Carly and Jess Reinhardt en route to their state championship in 2010. Well, we've gotten off to a big start here in the second quarter. Parker Goodlick, Dylan Mueller, trading threes. Yeah, both teams start off. Blooming with Central Catholic, 3 for 12. Nashville, 2 for 11. They're starting to heat it up a little bit right now. Reinhardt on the move. Coast to coast and nothing to show for it. Pace is really picking up, though, right now. Hunter Beatley, best three-point shooter for Nashville. It feels like maybe they broke a sweat during the uh, between quarter break. And I did like uh, Bloomington Central Catholic. I liked their last trip down court. If you've watched them, what they're going to try to do is we call form triangles. They'll try to put three people against two white shirts for Nashville. That's basically a numbers matchup. You try to get an advantage. That's what they'll try to do when the ball goes away right there. Perfect example of triangle right there. Now they'll go back out to the top. Norton, Horniman, three on the way from Holman. One point lead, belong to Nashville. We've played two minutes here in the second quarter. Central Catholic has gone zone. Now they're back to man to man to start this quarter. That is strength inside for 6'1, 195 pound junior Daniel Thorson. Yeah, and good look right now trying to guard him at 165, so he's about 25 pounds. And yes, that is a factor in a basketball game when you have that kind of upper body strength to will yourself to the 10 and finish. Thorson with a bad ankle, it'll hurt tomorrow, but right now he's playing on guts, heart, and determination for a title. Six straight points scored by Nashville. Good look gives it up to Holman. Took Austin Holman a while to get rolling last night. Once he did, he was a force. Norton creates. Once again, a rebound goes to the Hornets. Central Catholic, however, out rebounding Nashville 14-11 here. That's because of their activity. They lack in size, but they've been much more active. After the block, Newman is able to clean it up. Newman hanging on the weak side, wasn't blocked out, went back up untouched. Good job by the sophomore, keeping the ball up, hit the floor, boom, right back up like a pogo stick. Inside to Hester. Turning on Newman, a battle of number 44s. That time won by the man in white, John Hester. Hester did a good job for... Bloomington Central Catholic last night. Nice post move there as he showed the ball to the inside, to his right shoulder, spun back to his left shoulder, which is a strong area, and drew the foul. Ball fakes are very, very important at all levels, but especially the level at the block because you get yourself to the free throw line. Hester last night, seven points and five rebounds. There are his season's numbers. Right on cue, we mentioned his contribution off the bench last night gave them a second post presence in their win over 
Providence St. Mel. They've beaten what one two and three to get here. They beat Rock Ridge and they beat Sterling Newman and then Providence St. Mel. Royce Newman on the move inside. We've been trading runs. Newman starting to heat it up. Three. No. Hester climbs the glass. Reinhardt battles inside, but Thorson away with it. A lot of people playing up above the rim right now. There's some quick jumpers on both teams, so a great deal of athleticism around the basket. Anderson. We've hit the midway point of the second quarter. Norton's eyes always up. He was looking at that all the way down. Yes, he was. He sees the whole floor and the rim. A great point guard looks at the rim. If you look at the rim, then you'll see everything else in front of you. Good look off the bench. He has five points tonight. Good hesitation, dribble. He saw an opening, recognition, takes the ball at 10. No weak side help by Nashville. Nick Norton just riding alongside the hip. Daniel Thorson. We have a timeout on the floor. Teams trading runs. But it's a five point lead for Nashville despite the efforts of Parker Goodluck. If you're a Nashville High School cheerleader, you better not make any vacation plans for March because your team's been very active. Of course, the boys' team have advanced deep in the state tournament. But how about the girls? A state championship, a couple of third place finishes, and two fourth place finishes. So. Congratulations, making it to Peoria here on the boys' side. Now baseline out of bounds play right here in Nashville. Watch for a screen inside. Johannes and Newman should be involved. Could get a possible lob on the inside. There's the screen. A little bit bad timing. Catholic in succession has knocked off the number one team in the state. The number three team knocked off number two Providence St. Mel. And tonight they're playing the preseason number one team. Nashville, though, got off to a tough start this season at seven and five, fell out of the rankings, and the last regular season ranking, they were not in the top ten. Once again, Norton. He'll pick up the foul. He can't believe it. What a great battle inside it is, though, to watch between Newman, 44 in white, and then the post presence, 42, Kaufman in blue. There's some pushing and shoving for space with those two inside. A nice battle within the battle. And that foul will be charged to Holman, give the bucket to Keegan Anderson. And there's that cross screen I talked about in the previous play. The previous play, what happened is their timing was off. That time there was a screen on the weak side, and all the action went to the strong side. Good pass, good recognition, and a chance to finish by Keegan Anderson. Three-point play for Anderson, his first points of the night. An eight-point lead for the Hornets. off the dish from Reinhardt. Great set right there because they got the ball into the corner. The ball went to Goodlick, then the cup by Reinhardt, then the dish. So three touches equal a basket on the weak side. Good ball movement, good man movement. Newman looking low. Finds his man. Easy bucket for Johannes. Ah, low. Good basketball right there. First points for Johannes after a 20 point 11 rebound effort in the semis last night. 22 14 Lee and Carson heads to the media room. He'll come back. <laughs> that's how he's played this entire tournament. That's how he's played this season, obviously. That's why you get here, but that motor never stops for Thorson. Emotional leader, physical leader, strong, athletic, and just a flat out playmaker for his team. Norton. 
on her three. How about Parker Goodwin? Off the bench tonight with eight points, a couple of threes. He's keeping his team in this game. The spark you need sometime off the bench, and Goodlick's providing it right now. Came in averaging 4.3 points per game, 18 threes. That was fourth in the team. He's knocked down a pair of triples tonight. Royce Newman, very strong. Newman came into the weekend with 155 free throw attempts. That is a very significant number because it just shows how much and how consistently he gets the ball deep to the basket, draws fouls, gets free throw opportunities, and gets opposing players into foul trouble. First player in double figures with 10. That zone so difficult, and you can ask Porta how that zone played out for them last night. Blue Jays, who has finished fourth in the state, lost to Nashville 62 43. Only shot 30% against it. Good luck feeling it. He'll track it down. Who wants it? Good luck. Bring it up. Parker Goodlick. What I like about that one, Dave, is he missed the first one as a reserve, but then he came right back and said, I'm feeling it. I'm going to do it again. That is confidence. You know, confidence is self-imposed. You can talk yourself into being confident. You can talk yourself into lacking it. He's feeling it right now. And likewise, his teammates are finding him. Anderson on the drive. Contact inside. Elliot Horneman battling for it. Well, you would normally expect right now for Norton to drive and kick the Reinhardt for a three. But the way good looks shooting the ball, it gives him another option to look both sides. More people to identify right now for Nashville. See whether the Saints, who trailed by eight points, it looks like they will. They will hang on to it for the final shot. With five, Elliot Hordeman. And the buzzer goes off. Nashville will leave with a four point lead. They will like that. Central Catholic had trailed by eight. Only six points combined from Jake Reinhardt and Nick Norton, but they like the 11 points that Parker Goodlick has stuck on the board here in the first 16 minutes. 24-20, Nashville on top of Central Catholic. Matt Rodewald has Brad Weathers. Well, Royce with 10 points down low, you're able to do what you need to do down low, but two of 10 from three, can your guards help take the pressure off the paint? Well, hopefully can. Uh, you know, we just need to be patient, keep the tempo in our favor, and uh, they've knocked some shots down here lately, and, you know, that's obviously a concern. Oh, they're a good shooting team, so we're going to have to adjust. A little run late. How do you stop that? How do you get those, just to make sure you get a hand up in the shooter's face? Well, we've got to rotate a little bit quicker and, and cover up. Okay, Coach, good luck. In the Thank you. Head Coach Brad Weathers of Nashville, 24 to 20. Hornets in front at the break. Third and fourth place trophies coming up. It's a four-point lead for Nashville in our Class 2A state championship. You look at the March Madness experience, and it has been an experience this weekend for a lot of people enjoying our 2A title game. Matt Rodewald with you at Carver Arena. Let's show you how we got to this point. Our highlights with Nashville been in front pretty much most of the way. Bloomington Central Catholic Nick Norton, we know the All-Stater will be able to get his points. Not much for him so far after a 16-point outing last night. Off the bench, Parker Goodlick, who's put in some good minutes during this tournament run, he's been able to come through. Here's Norton again on the run, and he finds Holman finishing things up. Right place, right time. We talked about that last night. Here's Jake Reiner finishing it up with nine points last night. So far, not a whole lot as far as Nashville goes. Big night from Royce Newman inside. They've been working with him in the paint. He's got 10 points to lead all scores. 
Patience to find him on the baseline, and the easy layup for him there. But Johannes, who had a big night last evening with 20 points and 11 rebounds. Here he is working in the, in the paint. And you get the theme here as Nashville works their way on the block quite a bit. Royce Newman, enough position. Gets the rebound that time, and he finishes things off. A four-point lead for Nashville here at the break. Your stats, not much as far as field goal differenti uh, differential at this point. Nashville could use a couple of threes to go down. Actually, both teams at this point. And Nashville's been to the free throw line a little more. Rebounds even, turnovers, not much of a factor, but points in the paint. With the size of Nashville, you can see the difference there, 14 to six. The Hornets working in the paint, and they have a four-point lead to work with. We're at the break, and we'll be back. It's a four-point deficit for Bloomington Central Catholic here as we start the second half. Jason Welch, you're looking at the stat sheet. You're winning the rebounding battle, but uh, losing the war, so to speak. Where do you get going here? Well, I, I, you know, we got to hang on to the ball. We Transition-wise, I thought we did a really ba bad job of recognizing, and really, we're not moving on offense. We've got to move better on offense. Uh, pretty stagnant right now. Pretty stagnant also, 14 threes. Is that too many at this point? Well, you know, that's kind of one thing we do. We shoot it outside. We didn't make many of them. Uh, but we certainly need to get a piece of paint and into one of those shots. 16 minutes away, you're hanging right with them. What do you tell them here as you're close to a well, state championship? You know, you're right. It's a grind. It's uh, still 16 minutes. You got to play hard. That's a couple baskets. You just sit down and guard and, uh, you know, relax, have fun. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. All right, thank you. Head Coach Jason Welch of Bloomington Central Catholic down by four at the break. The second half coming up on the IHSA Television Network. The last time Nashville came to the state finals, they were eliminated in the quarterfinals. That ended a perfect season. Hornets were 33-0 that year, but right now, with 16 minutes to play, they're looking to match the accomplishments of their 1978 team, their boys team winning it all with a 30-3 record. For Bloomington Central Catholic, their boys have never won a state trophy in basketball. Glad you've joined us here tonight. Dave Bernhard, Mark Lindo, and Matt Rodewald with you as we start quarter number three. Central Catholic in his zone right now, extending a little bit. They go right to the high-low game and a good weak side pass. Very quickly, Dylan Mueller, he had a couple of threes in the first half. He opens the scoring here in the second. Great ball distribution. The ball went from high to low to weak side, moving the defense. You see the keys to the game to start the defense. They really have not done a good job doing that thus far. Jake must be great. Reinhardt is two for six. I expect him to step up big in the second half. That would be a check. Speak of the big three, Austin Holman, along with Jake Reinhardt, Nick Norton, they combined three of 14 shooting the ball. And 0 for 6 from three-point range. So that is going to have to be something that turns around, and I totally believe it will for them. They're, you know, they're too good as shooters not to get it done in the second half. They have to clear it up top to Elliot Hordeman. 11 first-half points from Parker Goodluck off the bench. Norton is three. Still looking for one. Nick Norton, who had originally committed to Creighton, struggling here a little bit tonight. Here are the keys for Nashville. Well, they, we wanted them to have some soft touches, and yes, indeed, Newman had 10 points and numerous lane touches in the first half in the gate. Norton, yes, they've done that. Norton, one for five and only two assists, so Nashville gets a check and a check as far as their pregame keys. Holman looking to push. Instead, stopped inside. Rebound, Newman. Brad Weathers really working the Nashville sideline, the fifth-year head coach for Nashville in his 28th season overall. Daniel Thorson with his fifth point. And the lead back up to eight. That matches the largest margin Nashville has had tonight. Thorson muscled his way into the seam. Good look, got it set to Hardeman. The three-point shooting woes continuing here. For the Central Catholic Saints. Well executed jump shot. He came off a flare screen and got a good look utilizing the screen, but not able to get it going down. Tough to win from 20 feet away, but they've done it to the, get to the state title game. They're shooting over a much, much more bigger and physical front line right now. Three across the top, very, very difficult. 
Boy, Newman got that pass, but in a hurry, and kisses it in. Soft touches. The super soft right there. Look at the entry pass away from the defense. A game of angles right there. They throw the ball away from the defense. Find Newman with his left hand, his left shoulder. He knows he's going to get contact, but he's so big, strong, and physical, he can finish. Biggest lead of the night at 10. Expanding. You know, Dave, the the more your shooting woes continue, the longer the length seems against the zone because if it starts to become a mental thing, you see white shirts and arms everywhere like that. Clean pit by Thorson. They find oh. Newman. Strong underneath for John Hester, a 6'4 senior. Keegan Anderson with the foul. Bloomington Central Catholic has missed their last six shots. They will look up at the scoreboard and find themselves down by 10. It's Nashville 30, Central Catholic 20. I think that our Sunday ceremony would be pretty packed, I'll say that much, but I think it'd, it'd be, I mean, we have such good support down there at home. It's a small town, so everybody knows everybody. I, I feel like we'd really touch the hearts of our community. Anderson, the senior for Nashville. Those are his classmates right there. Central Catholic, the ball, they've gone four minutes and eight seconds without a basket. Three for 16 from Trilight Land. Try another one here. I don't know what more you can say about Parker Goodlick doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. He's made four three-pointers. He has 14 of his team's 23 points, and he came off the bench. Jump ball, not a popular choice with the Nashville coaching sideline. Central Catholic has actually out-rebounded Nashville by two. That's how active they've been. They're just shooting wolves have really been the reason they're chasing a 30-23 deficit. Horniman to try it. Side out to Mueller. He's had a strong game tonight. Keegan Anderson looking for Newman. To Mueller. Newman finds Anderson. And good luck to not control. A break for Nashville. What a great pass by Mueller because again. One way to beat a zone, we talk about distorting it and getting into it, but another way is keeping a man behind the zone. It's called the short corner, and no defender has eyes in the back of their head. So if you can sneak a guy behind a zone, you'll be able to enter the ball and get some easy baskets. Newman will go to the free throw line. He wanted that ball on the inbounds. You know, it sounds simple, but that was an outstanding pass right there by Daniel Thorson. Yes, it was a bounce pass, but he had a very small window and a very small angle to get the ball to his big guy inside. N Newman, with that big frame of 230, is able to seal off the defender, take the ball and spin to the lane side and draw the foul. Royce Newman led this team in scoring the first eight games of the season. Nashville was 6-2 and two in those ball games. But once the scoring started evening out, then the Hornets exploded. The supporting cast stepped up, made opposing coaches have to plan for more offensive weapons. It makes a team more complete. 
One of the other parts of the season that was so strong down the stretch, a 20 and 2 record. This defense. Oh, Reinhardt. Jake Reinhardt knocks down the three. And he had plenty of air under that ball. Boy, does he have a good looking shot, Jake Reinhardt. Bounce pass and stepping in and with a very quick release. Good extension with the elbow, fingers facing the floor with a follow through, and he nails it from downtown. Now, Rodewald mentioned that his sister Jess watching an IHSA.tv winning a state title in 2010 with 19 points in championship game. They finished second the following year, but just had 24 points in that one. A little brother trying to keep his team in the ball game down by six, trailed by as many as 10. Blocked from behind by Hester. Nick Norton with the ball, 17.5 points per game. He has but two tonight. I think it's an absolutely huge trip for Central Catholic to regain momentum. They scored the last three. If they can get the next bucket, they'll get their crowd back alive. Hunter Beatley will pick up that foul. It was a four-point game at the end of the first half. Holman breaks free. He'll back it out on the dribble. Norton looking to create. Kick out, Holman. Missed everything. And the ball will stay at the end. Everybody pointing in different directions. The thing about long shots, 20-foot shots cause long rebounds. Most rebounds come out about 70% the distance from where they were shot. So with so many threes tonight, the ball's going to come out long, 12, 14, 15 feet away. That means the defense has to do a better job of putting body on ball to negate those long rebound offensive chances. Twenty three pointers attempted tonight by Central Catholic. Eleven on the other side for Nashville. Missed opportunity on that end of the floor for the Saints. Newman catch. Boy, is he strong. That is a strong catch and then a move from there. And once again, where did Keegan Anderson come from? He came from below the basket. You see him just came into your picture. He came from below the basket, short corner, from the weak side to the strong side. They entered the ball there. And then Newman, smart enough to roll down the lane. So instead of high-low basketball, that was low-high basketball. Newman at the free throw line. He's been there already seven times. He'll get two more here. Six of seven. Seven rebounds, 14 points. And if he gets to the line that often, that means it's part of their game plan. It was part of our open, part of our keys, and they've done just what they thought they needed to do. Goodlick comes back in, replacing Hordeman. You know, it's amazing. Goodlick probably doesn't get this many minutes normally. It just teaches young players, you know what? If you play well, you stay on the floor. It's that simple. Goodlick, four of six from three-point range, five of seven overall. seconds to play here in the third long one from Norton that ball nearly got tipped up and in Thurston down in a travel and he doesn't like it that end of the floor up in the uh, stands are both the Nashville and Central Catholic fans so that's a noisy end of the floor right there Norton finally gets his three. And with 
with that. Back down to four. Norton flat out needed that, not just for the three points, but for his psyche. That might be the one that gets him going. It's a very important final 60 seconds here in the third. Kyle Jasper hounded by Norton. Look at how close they're guarding right now. We're relentless. Thorson posting up Holman. Talk about strength. 6-1 Daniel Thorson on the inside bucket. Reinhardt corner again. They have Johannes down the floor for an easy two. Just like that, the lead at eight. Creativity time. Good luck. He feels it. Foul on a three-point attempt with 3.1 seconds to play in the third. It's a basketball sin to foul a jump shooter. It's a cardinal sin to foul a three-point shooter. Good lick, 71% from the line this year. Here is numbers for tonight. Central Catholic, one of four from the line after a nine for 21 performance last night in the semifinals. Free throw shooting is contagious. This team came into the tournament as a strong free throw shooting team, but they have definitely had some wolves last night and tonight. Johannes, just a little bit short. Nashville led by 10. Central Catholic led, cut the lead to four when Nashville went almost five minutes without a field goal. But then the Hornets get two in a span of 19 seconds. Nick Norton looking to bring the Saints back. Seven point lead for the Hornets setting into the fourth quarter of our Class 2A state championship. Nashville trying to bring home another state championship for the boys to be the first time since 1978 but for the girls first time in a year the most popular man in Nashville Wayne Harry joining us 28 and 4 for you girls this year uh, tough defending a state championship isn't it yeah when you, you know you got the target on your back all the time it's always tough but you know we, we did the best we could of what we had and got beat by a good breeze central team so we got sectional final so we had a good year. Absolutely. What's it like watching these guys? You've seen them all year. What's it like watching this group? It, I mean, they've improved so much from the beginning of the year, and that, that's what it was all about. You know, we struggled early, and uh, they, they got together, and they played so well as a team, and uh, it's a credit to the coaching staff and the kids. Your kids were leading heading into the fourth quarter of that state championship. Same with uh, Brad's kids. So what is he telling them in the huddle at this point? Just keep doing what you're doing, and uh, hopefully the ball bounce your way, and uh, hopefully you have one more about one, one more point at the end of the, end of the game. You probably are in the, stuck in the moment of the game when you're on the bench, but as a fan, a little bit different, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. I, I'm not used to sitting up in the stands like that and sitting by my wife. And uh, everybody asks me, so it's a little different coming up here when you're when you're a fan. You know, we've been up here about eight times, so it is a lot different. All right, we'll let you go enjoy that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wayne Harry, the state champion head coach of Nashville and the Hornets. The girls are the Hornets, the guys are the Hornets, Dave. Very good, Matt. And we're very much aware that is uh, Nashville a fixture in normal in ISU for the state final. Good lick again, not this time. Newman will get the rebound. That is his ninth of this game. Numbers. Johannes. Boy, do you see how quickly Nashville, once they cracked the pressure, exploded? The well, one pass, two passes. And before that, there were prior to that, there were two more passes. I believe in that sequence, full court, the ball was touched five different times, never hit the floor. Great ball movement. St. 
180 pound senior. Soft touch from the line. And that lead goes back to nine. It's been as large as 10. and buries it. Well, Coach Welch talked at halftime to Matt Rodewald about they need some more man movement. They're, they're starting to cut people through the zone. That doesn't necessarily create shots, but it creates rhythm and tempo and movement. Thornton on the attack. And they'll have to peel Goodluck up off the hardwood here at Carver Arena. Jason Welch. 11th year overall, 7th at Central Catholic, four years at Villa Grove High School. No look of intensity there on that picture, was there? <laughs> and I think Coach Weathers to our right, that might be the first time he's grabbed a seat all night long. And he'll be back up within five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he works it during his 32 minutes. There's Brad Weathers. Five years, the principal at Nashville. He left Carlisle to become the principal of Nashville and was helping out with the basketball program. And then when Darren Lee took a job with Collinsville, they said, uh, hey, Coach Weathers, would you like to get back in? That was five years ago, and here he is on the 25th anniversary of a state championship he coached with Carlisle. Well, once again, there's Hester. I just, you know, I'm singing his praises because he played so well last night. You know, he basically got two key closure rebounds last night in that game. And, now, you know, he's been so active and around the glass, and that one was just, he came in on touch, but he was active and got to the glass for that uh, two-shot attempt. Now they just got to continue to start to get a little bit, a bit better from the free throw line. My goodness, two out of seven. Royce Newman is forced to lead this game with his fourth foul. And it comes with 5.59 to play. Thorsten Reinhardt. And I say that Reinhardt just dribbled that ball out of bounds. Reinhardt claiming he was bumped on the way up. Make that Thorsten claiming he was bumped on the way up. Coach Weathers working the officials, but the biggest thing he yelled to his team was play through it, play through it. Excellent coaching tip, trying to keep his team on a positive keel. And they're able to come away with it. 41-34, five and a half to play in the 2A championship game. Anderson, what a nice lob inside of Johannes. Reinhardt. Tie up. Every time Central Catholic has made a little bit of a move, plays like this have come from the Hornets. Reinhardt in traffic off the glass. The amazing thing about that basket, the Nashville bench is yelling, screen the screener, screen the screener. That's exactly the play they ran, and Reinhardt was the first screener. He rolled back to the basketball. He was the man that was open, gets the bucket, but even though the coaching staff saying defend it, easier said than done, a nice slip of the screen by Reinhardt. Good recognition on the pass, and they complete a three-point play. Margin down to six, 43-37. Free ball. And I don't think no matter 
what the call was going to be on that one. There was going to be half this building unhappy. <laughs> As there is every basketball official's call made. <laughs> Beely finds Johannes. He had 20 points last night. He's a right man in the right spot. Six of his 10 have come here in the first three minutes of this fourth quarter, and he's looking for another one here. Quite a few of Nashville's baskets right now coming off assists. 11 assists on 15 baskets. That is unselfish basketball. That is good team basketball. That is state championship type of basketball right there. Clint Johannes, three point play and a nine point lead. It's left in our state championship game between Nashville and Bloomington Central Catholic and always on championship Saturday we give way to celebration Sunday. The folks from Nashville you see right there, they'll be celebrating tomorrow at the school at 2.30 in the gym. Of course, there's going to be a parade through town before that, so enjoy that as well. As for Bloomington Central Catholic, they'll do their celebration tomorrow at 1. Right now, they would like nine more points to even this thing up, maybe a celebration of a state title as opposed to a state runner-up, Dave. Indeed. We are winding it down here in your Class 2A weekend. Reinhardt. <laughs> that doesn't get much farther down than that. Nashville is looking to attack. Coaching staff said, whoa, whoa. There's Anderson again deep. Clear space. Anderson has given Nashville their biggest lead of the game. And it comes with just a little over four minutes to play. He continues to make plays from behind the defense. Good recognition offensive by Nashville. An adjustment has not been made in that situation by Central Catholic as of yet. Top three from Norton. A timeout called by Central Catholic. Norton with the 11. He now has three three-pointers tonight. And this is a situation where Bloomington Central Catholic will not go away. But Nashville has answered every challenge. Well, it's, it's a great game that way because Nashville has basically been in control of the game since early in the second quarter. It's been Bloomington Central Catholic having to play catch up and they, they've made a play to hang around. They've made a play to hang around and all any coach wants in a basketball game is to be in a position to win the last three and a half, four minutes. I really believe this. Central Catholic has been, you know, we talked about beating number one, then number three, then number two. So their resolve has been tested night in and night out. They won't go away tonight, but you know what? I'm still going to go back to it's got to be their two guards. If they're going to come back and win this thing, there's got to be a couple big jump shots. Unbelievably, they've taken 29 threes tonight, and they, they're probably going to have to hit two or three more if they're going to come back and do the improbable. Matt Rodewald was listening in on the Nashville bench and Brad Weathers. Yeah, he knows the pressure's coming with uh, Bloomington Central Catholic picking up full court. Cut hard, no nonchalant cuts. Everything's got to be run 100% for three and a half minutes. <laughs> Newman back in the game playing with four fouls. They did all right without him. He wants it now. Boy, nearly went over the back. An eight point difference, three and a half to play. Norton three, got it! Boy, on cue, he said he got the step up big. He's feeling it right now. The eye of a tiger is gleaming. 11 points down to five. Carson, no room in the baseline. Anderson, he'll get it out of there. We're under three minutes to play.
Ooh, dangerous pass out. But the Hornets are working time. Newman. Johannes and a whistle. Six seven and six seven. Here's our Bloomington Central Catholic move of the game. Big three from Nick Norton. The move of the game brought to you by Realtor.com. Take your home search mobile with Realtor.com. Well, I'll tell you what, Johannes has really stepped it up the last two or three minutes of this basketball game. He carried them last night. Tonight he was relatively quiet, but he's making a big noise down the stretch. Four for four from the line. He's been ice. 50 to 43. 2.30 left. Central Catholic has been chasing all night. They led briefly the early seconds of the second quarter, and that has been it. They absolutely have to get Reinhardt a look on this trip. Come out a little bit more on Norton. He was right on it. Holman will get the bucket. That is the first basket of the game for Austin Holman after a 12 point game in the semis last night. And Central Catholic. We'll take another timeout. They'll have one remaining. Holman came from the weak side on that 23 foot bomb, and he came in untouched. That was definitely just a missed assignment on the blockout opportunity. Opportunity lost right there for Nashville to get the defensive board. Take a look at our Nashville move the game. Compliments of Realtor.com. Take your home search mobile with. Realtor.com. Boy, there are plenty to choose from in this championship ball game. How about this from Daniel Thorson and one? All right, the timeouts. Time to get a little bit of a breath. Now see yourself high atop Carver Arena. And on the other side. Happy they're on the big screen. Their team needs five points, and Jason Welch. He's everywhere. Yep. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those actually in this tournament here this year. More and more everywhere you go, of course. There's Nick Norton. Norton with 14 points. 12 of them coming in the second half. Nine here in the fourth quarter on three three balls. Let's go to Matt Rodewall quickly. We've seen this two or three possessions. Nick Norton still out there on defense, even though he's got four fouls, Mark. Yeah, interesting coaching move. You might have had a, with a dead ball of defensive substitution there, but they just know they cannot win with all the All-Stater on the bench. Under two minutes to play. Saints chasing five. Horniman. Loose ball to Norton. Reinhardt. Buster the rebound. To Norton. Couldn't get it off. With 90 seconds. Horniman again. And finally the rebound for Nashville and Anderson. Great tip by Thorson. Inside. Back to the free throw line goes Johannes. What a flurry at the other end. Central Catholic, not one, not two, but three trifecta opportunities. They couldn't bang down any of the three. They go over, and then at this end, ball movement. Good tip out, as you mentioned. That's a presence of mind. And once again, who's at the free throw line? But this young man, Johannes, who has had a whale of a two nights. His first miss of the night. Parker, good look back in. Looking for long range shooting. Good luck tonight with four three pointers, 14 points. Central Catholic, nine of 34 for threes. Nashville, 16 of 19, shooting free throws, but Johannes misses a pair. Five 
guards on the floor right now. Five jump shooters for Central Catholic on the floor. That zone expanding even more. Under a minute. Martin's able to get it off. Well, it's time for the stars to shine. Norton was relatively quiet, but he has been really, really big in the second half. He was ice cold on that shot. He was cold as ice. This is the closest this game has been since it was 12 to 9 early in the first half. Central Catholic now is out of timeouts. Yeah, that definitely good catch by you Dave Bernhard because with 51 seconds to go I found it interesting that coach Welch would take that time out then you know he can't burn it again I know he wants to set his defense but there's probably going to be I would guess at least three more trips up and down the floor because it's going to turn in check your numbers it's going to turn into a free throw shooting contest to close a championship for Nashville Orson, the leading free throw shooter at 71 percent. Keegan Anderson is 70 percent. Hunter Beatley on the bench right at the moment. 80 percent. There's Nick Norton. A huge second half. A monster fourth quarter. Four threes in this fourth quarter. Let's check in with Matt. Saints training staff working feverishly through that timeout. Austin Holman some blood on his left leg. He's on the floor though. And Holman nearly gets the bucket. He will go to the line. Kudos to the training staff. Absolutely. And Nashville would like that possession back. And I'll tell you why. The ball was entered right at the baseline. The baseline is another defender. You want to enter the ball high and wide. They had the double team right at the baseline. They get the third man to rotate right in the passing lane and get to the bucket with a chance to tie late in this title game. The numbers on Austin Holman from the free throw line this year. 57.8%. No bargain there. Last night, in the semifinals, Holman just one of four from the line. And tonight he has not attempted a free throw, but he's only one for nine field goal shooting. So the young man right now has to impose his own level of confidence. He has to impose his own positive talk right now. Get a good look at Brad Weathers. 28 years of coaching as a head coach. His team was up by 11, only to see the two point margin right now. And what he's coaching right now is here's what he's telling his team. First, box out. Who's got shooter? Be strong with the ball. Then he has already told his team what he wants to happen down here. What they've had happen down here is get Newman a touch on the inside. They've had a great deal of success on the inside, getting the ball to Keegan Anderson, but he right now is at the top of the key. They'll play him at the bottom of the zone. We'll see if Central Catholic stays in his own defense, depending on a make or a miss. Back to Matt Rodewald. Brad Weathers making it clear in that timeout. Your team, you guys are still winning. The Hornets still have a two-point lead, and it will stay that way if they miss free throw. Relax. The pressure's coming. It's not going to go away. And reminding his team he's got two timeouts still to work with. A one-point game. Here comes Thorson. Newman, Anderson, right now. from behind by Johannes and Holman will go back to the line. Austin Holman with just nothing but a hustle play here. Reinhardt gets the run out block, but look at the man following the play. 6-2 right on top of the basketball with a chance to tie or put his team ahead. Tie game. 
It's our first tie of the game. And it comes with 29 seconds left. We and had, a stunned Nashville bench. We had talked about them about 350 to go. They were down eight, right? We said they hung around. All you want to do is be in a position. Full court pressure has been a key here real late. Nashville ball. A 7-0 run here for Central Catholic. of this game Bloomington Central Catholic it's forced overtime Central Catholic hung around they hung around hit a couple big shots forced a couple of turnovers and this has been a championship bout at its finest Jason Welch has been Telling his team all weekend, basically uh, the last eight days, let's just have fun. I think this is fun right now for him. Let's go back to Matt Rodewald. Well, no doubt with the momentum shifting towards the end of the regulation there, the mood's a little different as well. Bloomington Central Catholic, despite not being able to score in that possession, the seniors coming to the timeout thrilled. Let's go win it. Guys like John Hester saying, we're not leaving without the state championship trophy. Brad Weathers trying to fire up his guys, realizing they've been wounded a little bit here down the stretch. One injury note, we talked about Austin Holman's cut. He still has a pretty deep gash on his left leg. They haven't quite covered it up. It isn't bleeding, but it's pretty nasty. Thank you very much, Matt. Foul situation could be huge here. Royce Newman has four. Nick Norton with four. Parker Goodlick also with four fouls. So your two All-Staters, one on each side. Newman and Norton with four fouls each. Can Nashville go back to what was so good for them? That was inside basketball. That was getting opportunities on the baseline for Anderson to make plays. Newman touches. They got out of their game plan. Central Catholic with a nice run. A couple big jump shots. 10 for 35 from the arc. That's got to be close to a record as far as three-point attempts. And a foul on the jump ball. Foul will go against Holman. To the free throw line will go Dylan Mueller. Mueller, 57.5. It's double bonus time now for Nashville. 57.5% from the line for Mueller. Look a lot. Look at his eyes. You see a confidence level in a player's eyes. You mentioned only 57 percent. He didn't like that one. Good picture there. Holman running the show right now. Back to Norton. Interesting at Central Catholic. Honestly, if they wanted to, they could just back it out and force Nashville to make a, you know, to come out of the zone and get last shot, if, quite honestly, if they wanted to. Here Brad Weather saying, watch the middle. That's where Norton is. Back up top. Hurtin in three. Got it. What a great coaching move. They put Norton in the middle. They got him the ball where he could make a play. A man movement, a player personnel movement that cashes in for a three ball. First points of the night for Elliot Hordeman. 
Newman battles and gets it. One point lead in the ball for Bloomington Central Catholic. The Class 2A state championship game in overtime. You're going to see 32 Mueller. He's going to extend pretty soon. It won't be long. See him inside the arc. Now he's going to step out and going to come out even more. There it is on cue. Over the fingertips of Reinhardt. And now it's the Hornets turn looking for the lead. Larson to Newman top up high. Anderson inside Mueller and a block inside. Under two minutes to play in overtime. Dangerous near half court. Boy, Nashville really coming out here, and that's an over back call. Anyone who is a Central Catholic fan asking what Jason Welch is. Was there a deflection in there? It doesn't matter now. Every, every pass, every dribble right now has championship implications. Here's the situation. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. 50-50 call. Went the way of Nashville. Hunter Beatley has come into the game for the Hornets. He's a three-point threat. He has him now. Thorson working the post. And he finds room. Nashville up by one. Willing his way with Thorson. Just strength on the weak side. Using the rim as a defender. One minute to play in overtime. Holman, drive, contact, offensive foul. The outside official called offensive foul. Let's see if somebody has a different look. The player can determine whether they can go back and get that half court over and back. He did not declare the tip, so immediately you knew that was the call coming. Good info, Matt. Thank you very much. Austin Holman will go to the free throw line. He's 2 of 4 in this game, 2 of 4 here in the pressure of the state finals late in the fourth quarter and now in overtime. So for Nashville, they already have their last, their next set down the floor called, and I guarantee you in the timeout it said, make sure Royce Newman gets a touch. Newman has it. Newman inside. And he will shoot two. He will go to the line. 30 seconds left. Well, looking for a tie. There's the inside touch we talked about. And Newman so skilled at his young age. Good picture of Coach Weathers who's aging a little bit tonight. But he spun to his left, felt pressure, spun back to the inside. So very versatile. Sophomore pulls his team within one. We're tied.
Does BCC hold for one? Again, everyone on their feet. Down to 10. Hordeman. Big block by Hordeman. Newman. <laughs> oh, man. Royce Newman having the time of his life coming over and slapping five with a TV crew. Regulation was not enough. One overtime, not enough. We go to our second overtime. And I go back to that very last play because there were people breaking loose for Nashville. Elliot Hordman got up, deflected that pass, and forced a half-court shot from Newman. Hey, how much fun is this, huh? The best ticket in town. The original March Madness is completely crazy. Bloomington Central Catholic trailed by 11. Took it to overtime, and we go to overtime number two. Let's take a look back in the final seconds of our first overtime. Well, they're waiting. They want last shot. They needed to get the ball in the middle. That didn't happen. They wanted Hester to get a touch. You see Norton surveying everything. Now he gets the penetration, the kick. A good look. You can't ask for anything better. And here's where the scrum comes in. And there's the run out. Saved the game winner right there, that deflection. And then here comes the high five to me, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was involved for just a minute. Yeah. My new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again for another four minutes. Let's go to Matt Rodewald quickly. You know, guys, one thing to wonder for Jason Welsh and the coaching staff of the Saints, they have not changed the timeouts on the overhead scoreboard. They had listed him with no timeouts. He had one timeout to work with. They have not changed it. Right now, the Saints have, three, have two timeouts, and Nashville has three timeouts. Every time you go into a new overtime period, you are given an additional timeout. Easy thing on the sport scoreboard to switch for fans here. We know the rule, but the fans don't know. Central Catholic has two left. Nashville Hornets get first crack here in the second overtime. Carson works on Reinhardt. Splits a couple defenders. He cleared out a side, and Thorson took advantage of a one-on-one -on -one situation as Reinhardt, he won that one-on-one -on -one battle. Hester, kick out, Reinhardt. That's what they wanted to do before was get the ball in the middle. Good inside out pass. Jake's got to be great. He was right there. Anderson back inside. Short jumper. Short rebound. Put back. It goes. Dylan Mueller gives Nashville the one point lead. Reinhardt again. Are you kidding? Time shot, big time player, big time shooter, a big time venue. 62 60 Central Catholic. Newman for the tie. What a classic basketball game this is. Back and forth, up and down, ebbs and flows. Mono, mono. These guys getting after it right now. What entertainment. Hester, Norton, he launches. With under two minutes to play, Nashville looking for the lead. Reverse the basketball where you get a one-on-one -on -one seal to Newman. You gotta, you gotta reverse it once or twice, however. Anderson knocked away by Norton. Norton the drive. Nashville looking to attack. Newman stuck by Hester. 
Hester. John Hester the block. 6-5, he goes up and blocks a 6-7 shot. Reinhardt. Again, here comes Thorson. Blocked by Holman. Off Central Catholic. Well, you knew Thorson was going to the goal, didn't you? A little debris on the floor. They will clean that off. Watch the interchange, the screen. Newman and Johannes for each other. And Thorson will look for Johannes on the weak side block if Bloomington Central Catholic switches. Off the foot of Keegan Anderson. 58 seconds left. Is that too long for Bloomington Central Catholic to hold it, Mark? Well, I think it is because if they try to hold it, then you'll see Dylan Mueller come out and extend as we speak. There he is. They're not going to allow them to hold the ball. They got that long arm length right there. And again. That length is bothersome. We called it, and that's exactly what happened. With 30 seconds to play. Now this should be last shot in Nashville. Brad Weathers will take a timeout with 23.9 seconds left. 13 three-pointers tonight for Bloomington Central Catholic. Ties an all-time tournament record of made threes in a the game. They've tied Mendota in 1996. They were playing St. Edward. 41 three-point attempts. I thought 14 and a half was, <laughs> was quite high. But the, the second half, their threes have been way much more in rhythm. They've been inside out. They've been penetration and kicks where in the first half, they were flat foot threes. They were set shot threes instead of step in threes. And during this timeout, it's been the coaching staff of Nashville that has done all the talking. All the assistant coaches for Nashville, former Hornet standouts, Jason Guest, Kelly Cruiser, Patrick Weathers, all with great success at Nashville. All alums with a chance to see a state title. Now here's what they're here's their check down. I flat out guarantee you. Check down number one is Newman. Check down number two would be Anderson behind the zone. And check down number three. Go ahead, Thorson, if that's all covered. Make a play, Daniel. Make a play. You see the clock in the bottom right at 15 seconds. Ripped away. Coleman floats it. And there's time to Anderson. Anderson. And we will go to a third overtime. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Don't go to bed yet. Oh, look. That, that tells, tells a story right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the energy. <laughs> well, option number one was Newman, and Central Catholic knew what we did. The strip on the inside. It looked like Holmes was going to win the game, didn't it? He needed one more dribble to get to the 10. He just couldn't get the ball deep. So three timeouts now for Nashville as they gain one more. Again, Matt. Well, first the tip. Got it on the way up. Yep. 
Let's go to Matt Rodewell right now. Well, the momentum we saw heading into the first overtime is gone as both teams are pretty composed at this point. Royce Newman coming to the bench after that saying, oh, my God, we can keep going. And uh, Brad Weathers talking to his kids about the adversity that he's been dealing with. You know, three overtimes, and you get to the point where you talk about the things that got you here, and he's, his message was all about fighting through adversity. This is definitely that. Again, the trip controlled by the Hornets. Newman played with four fouls, what, for about the last 15, 16 minutes of clock time? Remember, he does have those four along with Nick Norton. Yes. And Newman has been on the floor in some pretty heated exchanges in terms of contact. The whistle's not gone against him. Anderson, the pull-up. Off the hands of Mueller, and now it's Bloomington Central Catholic's turn. I truly believe half the people here at Carver Arena hold their breath on each possession. When the ball goes out of bounds, they're able to take another one and hold it again. Seven different players in double figures for the two teams combined tonight. And this one's going the other way. We're in our third overtime that matches the most overtime in a championship game, 1989. Newman can't get in 1989, Class AA, East St. Louis and Peoria. East St. Louis, Lincoln, and Peoria, Thorson. And there is Norton. Tournament. Newman can't handle it. John Hester was right there. Well, the length of Nashville continues to be a factor, though. Not only do they get a lot of steals, but they have to have 18, 20, 22 deflections tonight. They're very long. Reinhardt. Got it! <laughs> Record number of threes in a championship game and a three-point lead for Central Catholic. Shooters have no conscience. Reinhardt started slowly, but boy, has he been quick lately. Holding gets on the backboard. Here comes Norton. Fouled. He'll go to the line. Nick Norton, an 89% free throw shooter. Our statistician, Bo Spencer, is doing an absolutely spectacular job this weekend getting his work cut out for him tonight. We told you this three overtimes ties the championship game record set in 1989. Most overtimes in any tournament game is four. You have to go back to 1930. Beardstown versus Waterman in the quarterfinals. Here's Norton. A four-point lead for Bloomington Central Catholic. Norton, the 88% free throw shooter. You asked moments ago, first time two possession game. We're looking at it right now in overtime. And it rattles out for Norton. Plenty of time. They got to get a good shot. Stay with their game plan. Knock the ball inside. From the top, Beatley. A whistle. A foul. Beatley had a good look from downtown, couldn't get it to go, and on the ensuing rebound attempt, Newman, who played probably 16, 18 minutes with four fouls, finally comes to the bench. What a fine-looking sophomore phenom he is. And what great fans here in Peoria. Newman, a standing ovation from everyone in this building. Norton at the free throw line. He has the most three-pointers, five, in a Class 2A championship game. And, of course, it's part of the four-class system. It's a five-point Central Catholic lead. 19 points for Norton. 20. Big number, though, is six. 68-62. Nashville down by six.
Beadley. Norton away with it. Accelerates. Reinhardt's going to shoot it. Didn't need to do that, but he just felt it so much. Arsenal pop from three. Anderson bumps Norton to the floor. Makes sure he's okay. And will walk 94 feet to shoot two more free throws. We talked to Brad Weathers early in the week, Mark. We asked about what Royce Newman meant to his team, and he said, well, let's just say we're a different team without him. And they're a little bit, not a little bit, they're quite a bit out of their element chasing six, not just because of the time, but the last couple trips down the floor, they've opted to shoot the three instead of having to go inside of the big fella. They are not a three-point shooting team. They're a get it deep team. Two out of 15 tonight. There's a great picture of the young man. And the emotion on his face tells a huge story. And another free throw from Norton. 70-62, 70 seconds to play. And they'll get the ball in the hands of Norton again, and that is the best they can hope. Send Norton back to the line. 22 points tonight for Norton, 19 from Reinhardt. Their sisters won a state championship in 2010 with huge ball games of their own. The little brother's doing all right here tonight. We talked about the guard play, and the guard play is looks like it's going to end up being the storyline. We didn't know if they could take three overtimes because it was an inside presence that led most of the ball game, but jump shooting took over late. An inordinate amount of threes, 44 three-point attempts as they attempt to win a title. Jason Welch. Completely unaware that he has a disheveled <laughs> appearance. <laughs> he doesn't care. And not one bit. 60 seconds to play. Two-way title game. Thorson. I don't know where the energy comes from. Unbelievable. Original March Madness. This is the best entertainment buck you can spend. This has just been young student athletes giving it all for an awful long time tonight. Horniman tied up by Bailey. Elliot Horniman to the free throw line. Bloomington Central Catholic trailed by 11. They fought back. They tied at regulation. They are 49 seconds away from claiming their first state boys championship trophy. We talked about Newman playing an awful lot of minutes with four fouls before he finally had to grab some bench with his fifth. Norton has played what? About 20, 22 minutes with four fouls. Larson with the miss. He is forced to foul. And Hester will go the other way. Jake Reinhardt crashing into the table on the other end. He was involved in the chase with Larson. Now Jason Welch will head that way. Jake Reinhardt, 6'2", junior. And of Jake, Jake, Jake goes up. The Central Catholic fans. Well, he said Jake must be great. He struggled early on, but he was great in the second half. What a gutsy performance. He just was shooting with ice water in his veins. When you look up on the scoreboard with an 11-point lead, you wouldn't know it was overtime number three, would you? Mm. Thorson comes over and lets Jason Welch along with 
Jake Reinhardt know that there's nothing meant by it with the contact. Here's the play. And I have a feeling that Jake got that wind knocked out of him right in the midsection on that table. Nashville will take a timeout. Bloomington Central Catholic, we're talking about just eight days ago. Eight days ago, knocked off number one unbeaten Rock Ridge. On Tuesday in the super sectional, they had to face number three, Sterling Newman. They knocked off the Comets. Last night in this building, number two, Providence St. Mel. Knocked them off. Tonight, they face Nashville, the preseason number one team in Class 2A. That's a run, mister. Could you describe any more formidable of a gauntlet that they just have gone through to take home a title? Let's check in with Matt Rodewald. Jason Welsh from the Saints bench begging for focus for 42 seconds left, but he knows that his kids can smell it. You know, he said after going up against the number one team, the last thing we said, you've got to go out and have fun. You don't get this opportunity very often. Go out and have fun with it. That's after beating number one. So then after that, they decided to beat number three, number two, and then the preseason ranked number one if they finish this off. Well, he also told us that this team knows how to play 32 minutes of basketball. <laughs> he didn't tell us about 36, 40, or 44, but that's what they're going to do to get it done tonight. Well, and he also said after that win over Rockridge, he told his team, he said, if what you did yesterday still looks good today, you haven't done much today. Well, I think we've detailed pretty clearly that each succeeding day has been more and more and more. <laughs> Folks are going to see this final score, and they are not going to believe it's a triple overtime game. Norton, they will foul him again, and Nick Norton will head to the free throw line. He didn't shoot a free throw until the overtime sessions. He's seven of eight from the line. He's going to end up with 25, 26 points, depending on these free throws. Five rebounds, five assists, and he and Reinhardt with some big shots down the stretch in it. Nick Norton went to Missouri for his freshman, sophomore, and junior year for his father took an assistant coaching job for the Missouri women's basketball team. Then his dad headed to Alabama Birmingham as the head coach and Nick had a decision to make. Where do I go? He decided to come back to Bloomington and play with his buddies for his senior year. And now the Nashville players come off classy move by head coach Brad Weathers. A hug for each tears of sorrow but those will turn to smiles of joy as time goes along. What a crushing type of defeat in a title game, but just an outstanding, outstanding effort by that Nashville team tonight. This one will be hard for them to not just handle, but to believe. There's Parker Goodluck. How about his 15 points tonight? He kept them in. He had 11 points of the half. Kept his team within four. He had 11 of his team's 20 points in the first half. Rebound Central Catholic and Jason Welch wants a timeout. He wants to get Nick Norton out of the game and get a hand for his senior. Is that the first time he's left the floor the entire tournament? He played all 32 minutes last night. That's a fact. Did he play every minute except for the final 19 seconds tonight? He, I, he did indeed. I don't think Nick Norton has left the floor until 19 seconds to go. 44, 32, so my goodness, that's an awful lot of basketball. This building is drained. <laughs> oh. 
Mitch LaTulip to bring it up. He will get it to Keith Rollins. Bounce up front and inadvertent contact. With 8.4 seconds left. Look at Jason Welch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at the bench. They're exhausted. The, the, the adults are. Every, everybody in the, in the building exhausted. Physically, mentally, emotionally. John Rave at the line. Now Troy Petke comes in for Nashville. championship games in Illinois basketball history has come to a close. Congratulations, Central Catholic State. You are the 2014 2A state champions. seen a lot of problems that have happened in various levels of sports in the post game handshake line but you talk about genuine congratulations on both sides and appreciation for what everybody did this is what's happening right now and I'll use it I'll use another adjective respect you could see the respect from each team each player and you can see hearts pouring out for each other in this game, which was just a titanic title tilt. There's no doubt about it. This is a classic in Illinois High School Association basketball. Let's go once again to Matt Rodewald. Triple overtime, the longest game in 25 years in a state championship. Coach, you just look exhausted. <laughs> I am uh, exhausted. <laughs> Uh, it's been a whirlwind the last three weeks, and I'll tell you what, I'm so proud of the kids. Resilient. Never quit. Never quit. Never quit. So proud of them. What a game. Nashville kids are great. They just fought and fought and fought. Our kids fought and fought and fought. That had to be fun to watch. Uh, coaching cannot be good for your health. <laughs> how, how difficult was it to come back down in regulation? You trailed the entire way. Where did those kids find it? You know, the, you got a bunch of seniors out there. They're not going to quit easy. They, we talked about we're not dying easy. Keep working, keep fighting 32 minutes all the way through. You do not quit, and they didn't. You've had these seniors uh, for all of four years, with the exception of Nick Norton. He comes back and, and makes this team completely different. How valuable has he been for you? Oh, uh, Nick's a true leader, and he just blended so well. I, what can you say? Nick played a great game. Congratulations, Coach. Your first state championship. Oh, it feels, I just don't have words for it. Jason Welch, head coach of Bloomington Central Catholic. Try and talk to Nick Norton real quick. Nick, you ran in the stands. We wanted to talk with you. A big time performance. You know, your sister had five threes in her state championship win. You have five threes in your state championship win. No brother sister rivalry. You just thrilled to be a state champion. Yeah, um, I was lucky to have every single family member come to this game. I'm so blessed. Uh, shocking right now, but it was a great team performance. They played well, made it interesting. It was fun. This was not an easy comeback. Where did you guys find it? I mean, we just dug deep. I mean, looked at each other. Goes back to that family, and uh, we just pulled out with a win. You know, it, you came back to Bloomington. Did you ever dream that your senior season could end quite like this? You know, in the beginning, we all talked about it, but uh, never really actually came to real life. And now it's it's here, and it's awesome. Destiny for the Saints. Congratulations, Nick. Nick Norton, the star player for a team that took out number one, number three number two and the preseason number one to win a state championship and now to the pa paul herzog for the presentation seven deborah pitts of Pathalto Sim memorial an at-large member dr jeanette knuckles of urbana university high an at-large member and greg bradley of foresight decatur christian the board appointed treasurer presenting the second place medallions will be b kent jones 
and Deborah Pitts. At this time, let's greet the Hornets of Nashville, who finished in second place, a record of 27 and 8. Superintendent of Nashville, Wendy Davis. Principal, Brian Passero. <laughs> Athletic Director, Neil Hammond. <laughs> Certified Athletic Trainer, Nick Manilia. <laughs> Head Coach, Brad Weathers. Assistant coach, Jason Guest. Assistant coach, Patrick Weathers. Assistant coach, Kelly Cruiser. Now the Hornet players, number four, Walker Johnson. 10, Hayden Hegemeyer. 20, Brady Boltman. 21, Jarris Dahlman. 22, Daniel Thorson. 23, Kyle Jasper. 24, Keegan Anderson. 30, Garrett Guest. 31, Troy Pedke. 32, Dylan Mueller. 34, Chris Meyer. 40, Hunter Beatley. 41, Hunter Cooper. 44, Royce Newman. 45, Clint Johannes. 45. Manager, Nick Wolf. 45. Manager, Anthony Harper. And manager, Joe Kirshner. Second place, Hornets of Nashville. Congratulations, 2014, 2A. Presenting medallions for first place will be Jeanette Knuckles and Scott Adrian. This less, at this time, let's meet the Saints of Bloomington Central Catholic. State champions, 2A, a record of 27 and 6. Superintendent, Central Catholic, Father Pilon. Principal, Joy Allen. <laughs> Athletic Director, Doug Atkins. <laughs> Certified Athletic Trainer, Ashley Kingston. Head coach, Jason Welch. <laughs> Assistant coach, Brian Dooling. <laughs> Assistant coach, Aaron Ellison. <laughs> Assistant coach, George LaFay. <laughs> Assistant coach, Jesse Hawkins. And now the Saints players. Three, Austin Holman. Four, Jake Reinhardt.
10, Mitch LaTulip. 11, Michael Billington. 12, Elliot Herdeman. 21, Keith Rollins. 22, Nick Norton. 24, Parker Goodlick. 31, John Rave. 32, Jake Boffman. 41, Jacob Gilmore. 42, Braxton Kaufman. 44, John Hester. Manager, Chase Stevens. And manager, Eric Gilpin. Congratulations to Saints of Bloomington Central Catholic, first place, 2014. Presenting the second place trophy, Dr. Jim Quaid will coach Weathers and the captains of Nashville step forward to receive the second place trophy. Presenting the first place trophy will be Greg Bradley, will coach Welch and the captain of Central Catholic. Step forward to receive the state championship trophy 2014. Congratulations to both teams, student bodies, fans, and friends. Great showing for you here this weekend. Congratulations to Bloomington Central Catholic in triple overtime, 76-62 winners over Nashville. 1989, that's the last time there was a triple overtime game in the state championship. In that year, East St. Louis Lincoln defeated Peoria High in triple overtime. That was for the double A title. The single A title was won by Carlisle under head coach Brad Weathers, now currently the Nashville coach. I don't know what sort of symmetry and point I'm trying to make there, but it's interesting how things play out. And Mark, I, I sit here and I, I see what we experienced this weekend and here tonight, and it truly is what makes high school sports and basketball in particular special. Absolutely, the original March Madness was personified this weekend. And you know what, the two guards really came up big. There's no doubt Reinhardt hit some big jump shots, just clutch. Norton was the All-Stater we thought he was. And Bloomington Central Catholic, a very, very worthy state championship team. Our thanks go out to all the coaches, players, and fans that made this evening so exciting. Thanks also to you for watching us here in our Class 1A and 2A weekend. Don't forget, we're going to do it again next weekend. 3A and 4A come to Peoria, and we hope you'll join us for that as well. For Matt Rodewald, my partner Mark Lindo, I'm Dave Bernard, our entire IHSA television network crew. Great weekend in Peoria. We will see you in one week.